Hey there guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I made $100 in a week and I'm kind of excited to show you this because it was by a complete fluke accident. I had a buddy of mine who told me about an opportunity and I thought, well, you know what, I'll give it a chance. And one week later, I made $100 profit. It was pretty easy to do. So it's funny because I've seen these videos in the past and I've always thought, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, but this one worked for me. So I'm going to show you in this video and I really hope you like it. Let's go. All right, how's it going, guys? I'm excited to talk to you today. Um, I'm, I kind of pride myself in, you know, coming up with strategies and then, you know, sharing them. And, you know, I do research. This one, I got to be honest with you, it just came to me out of the blue. I got a friend of mine who told me about uh, Facebook. And specifically, he was really excited because he was selling off a bunch of items in his house. He was just kind of doing like a virtual garage sale, if you will. And so he told me about this thing called Facebook Marketplace. Now, I'd used it in the past to buy the occasional item, but I hadn't really ever drilled down on it or really checked it out. So I'd sold a couple items on Facebook Marketplace, or more specifically, my wife had, if I'm being perfectly honest. And, you know, so I needed to get rid of a couple items around the house. So I hadn't really ever paid much attention to it. To be honest, I don't really go on Facebook that much. Too busy uploading designs on a Saturday night. <laughs> Who's with me, right? So, so it was one of these things where... I, I I was talking to my buddy about this and I said, well, what's the deal with Facebook Marketplace? Why do you like it so much? And, you know, if you're not familiar with Facebook Marketplace, I would encourage you to, uh, you know, take a look at it. Go on to Facebook and it's in your regular, when you go to your regular account on Facebook, you just go to this little, looks like a little store icon. It's over here, kind of in the middle. So you have your homepage, you can watch videos, there's groups, and then there's Facebook Marketplace. It doesn't really say it, but if you click on it, it'll pop open Facebook Marketplace. And then it kind of looks like this. Here's just a generic one. And the neat thing about Facebook Marketplace is it's different for everybody who is like like where you're located. So, you know, I'm located in, in Canada. It's going to show me designs or uh, listings rather that are near where I live. And if somebody else lives in another part of the world, they're going to show you the listings over there. So it's really nice because it's localized, but it's also based on your interests and your search preferences as well. Like if you search for stuff, like here I can, you know, we can see here I looked for chocolate crinkle cookies and, you know, it shows me, you know, the listing that's there. There's lots of people selling stuff during the pandemic and I'm, you know, going through listings, learning about this stuff. So I encourage you to go through Facebook Marketplace just because there's a few key advantages Forget it. Maybe you get through this video and you go, you know what, Zen Water Cooler, I I'm not interested in that strategy, but I just, I'd really like to get, you know, something for cheap from my local neighbor. Hey, great, no worries. So here is the benefits of Facebook Marketplace. So Facebook Marketplace, the first thing I really like about it is you can do listings and you can do free listings. There there's not any cost associated with it. So my attitude is if you're trying to sell something around the house and you just want to get rid of it and get a couple bucks for it, it doesn't really cost anything. There's no f fees to list. And when you sell something, there's no fees at all when you do sell it. So there's really no downside other than your time. You know, people may have some, you know, you know e email you and say, hey, I'm interested. And, you know, maybe they don't show up or, you know, that sort of thing. It's going to cost some time, of course, but you're not paying a fee when you sell the stuff. The other thing I like is that on Facebook Marketplace, the buyers and the sellers use their real names, or at least they use a real Facebook account. So I mean, unless they're, you know, a complete scammer. Uh, but you know, most of the time you're dealing with real people. So I've actually had pretty good experiences. I've sold off some comic books that were too expensive to ship. I've sold off some heavy items like pieces of furniture. Again, way too expensive to ship. I don't want to just throw it in the garbage. So, you know, I sold a couple shelves for 20 bucks. I sold some comic books for 20, 30, 40 bucks for a lot of them. And real people are showing up and they're just coming to my house and giving me cash. And it's like, man, this is pretty sweet. So that's one of the things I really like is it's very attractive for buyers on Facebook Marketplace because they can save on the shipping. And I've run into this myself. I'm going to be talking here about this strategy coming up. But remember, one of the big things that's a real uh, benefit is that buyers don't have to pay for shipping. So they can just drive over to your house or wherever you live and they can just pick up the item. Now, if you're nervous about COVID and, and pandemics and all that stuff, hey, I hear you. So we've got actually a bin that sits outside our house. And when people EFT me the money, it could be $15, 30 bucks, whatever it is, I just put the item for sale in the bin. 
And then they just say, okay, I'm going to be there 2 p.m. on a Saturday. And so at 1 p.m. on a Saturday, I put it out there in the bin. And then I hear Russell Russell at the front of the house. And, you know, somebody, you know, walks away with the item. So it's really, it's worked really well. Like I was actually surprised. I don't know, maybe I don't have much faith in humanity, but I was really surprised at how well it's worked. People are paying in advance and they're coming to the house or you run into a, a person who shows up and then just gives you the cash face to face. Um, most people actually put the cash in a baggie, which is kind of cool. And then we just hand them the item and everybody wears a mask and life goes on. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to jump into the actual strategy here that I used. This is the, the real strategy I use. Now I'm not going to use the real images and the real designs. And I'm going to do that for a couple reasons. The first is if you don't have the same designs, then you might just check out. You might go, well, I mean, I can't, you know, I, I don't have those type of designs. But you could make those types of designs. I mean, if you're watching this, chances are you upload to Redbubble and TeePublic and that sort of thing. So you certainly know how to create a design. And the second thing is, you know, it is my intellectual property that, you know, I'm selling these things. This is my little side hustle. And I just don't want anybody, you know, living around in my neighborhood, you know, to you know, hey, I don't need competition. You know what I'm saying? But if you live in another town or, you know, if you've got, you know, these are just some, I am going to throw out some free designs here, some ideas, and feel free to run with those or come up with your own. And that's cool too. So here's the first piece of it. Okay. The first piece of the strategy, step one is grab, now look, I know everyone's throwing rotten fruit at me right now going, that's the worst design I've ever seen on a coffee mug. I'm just pulling this at random, okay? So the idea here is you pick a design that's a good seller that's already selling on Redbubble and TeePublic. So you just pick one of your favorite designs. Could be a funny cat design, could be a funny saying, could be public domain picture, whatever it is. So I'm just, I'm just throwing that up there at random. But the idea is you pick one of your designs that you go, man, I, I sell a few of these a month, you know? And this is a, somebody out there in the world really likes this design. And so you're going to pick a listing. Okay, that's step one. Okay, step two, you're going to now take that design and you're going to make a print from it. So you're going to make a picture. Okay, now it could be an 8 by 10 picture, could be an 11 by 17 picture. But the idea is, you know, you can get them professionally printed for really cheap. Or you can just, you know, if you've got a high-end printer, you can just make these yourself. The idea is, though, you're transporting your design onto a mini poster, like 11 inches by 17, for example. So from there, okay, and, I, oh, and I've got some ideas here for you too, right? So, cause you might be thinking, well, I mean, my pictures, you know, they're only good on t-shirts or my pictures, they're only good on coffee mugs. Okay, but, hey, I hear you, I can read your mind. So I'm gonna throw out some ideas that you may want to use. I saw this one this morning, so I just whipped this one up but I'm, I just made this. It took me like 30 seconds because I'm just using like PowerPoint here. But, uh, but I saw this in, in somebody's window this morning. Okay. I was running around town, dropping off some items, running some errands. And I actually saw this little poster print in a window. And it's not the exact picture, but it's, you can pick any picture you want. And it just says, thank you, frontline healthcare workers. Thank you, health workers. You know, we're all one community, you know, mask up and stay safe you know, far apart, but close at heart. I mean, there's all sorts of pandemic sayings. You can literally Google COVID sayings or pandemic sayings. And then people want to feel connected. So you could make this sign and then, you know, cost you a couple bucks. You, you've designed it. It's your design. Okay. It's not like you've went to the Disney store and ripped off Little Mermaid or something. I mean, this is your design. You're using a public domain photo and then it's your design. Here's another design. Uh, you know, now I've got the picture, obviously it doesn't match, but I mean, I'm just throwing through ideas. You know, I got vaccinated or, um, you know, uh, you know, stay, stay safe. You know, um, you know, we're all one community. So you could use COVID designs. You could use vaccination designs, uh, you know, thank you designs to people in the community. Maybe it's, I support the police. Maybe it's Black Lives Matter. Maybe it's, you know, I'm with the local blah, blah, blah union, like whatever it is, right? Like it, it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't matter because it's, it can only matter to where you live. Here's some other ideas. You could have kitchen signs. So for example, you could have, you know, family kitchen ideas, you know, big heart, a spoon, a knife, you know, and it says, you know, you know, we serve love in this kitchen or something, you know, and you got a nice wooden background on it. 
bathroom designs. You know, people like funny bathroom pictures. They like cute cats, giraffe sitting in a bathtub, uh, raccoon sitting on the toilet. I mean, there's all sorts of weird stuff that people like, right? So I mean, bathroom, you know, kitschy stuff for the bathroom. They want unique ideas. They don't want to go to Target and just grab the same thing that everybody else has. Family photos, uh, not pictures of your family, but pictures about family. So it could be like, if you ever Google uh, family rules poster, okay, family rules poster, and it says, you know, our family does, and then it says hugging, sharing, laughing, loving, you know, that sort of thing, right? And it's just, it's a text design. Well, it's perfect for a, for a picture, but imagine if you go into Redbubble, and then you might be saying, hey, hold on here, Redbubble and TeePublic, they sell prints. Yeah, exactly. They're US dollars, I live in Canada, you got to pay for shipping. You got to wait for it a week or two in the mail. It's got to come through customs. So why not create one on your own? And then somebody can just come to your house and pick it up. And, you know, done deal. Bank the cash. If anybody's homeschooling, they may need certain designs. They might want an eye chart test. They might want a globe, a, a map of the world, country flags, something with an educational slant. And then anything that results in, you know, community, stand, you know, stand up for your community, community love. It could be block parent. It could be neighborhood watch. We support the police. We support the fire department. Um, you know, in, in Canada, for example, there was, a, there was a, a tragedy that happened where a bus with some kids got um, uh, killed. It was a horrible accident that happened um, a, a couple years ago. And they were called the Humboldt Broncos. It was the name of a minor league hockey team. And so that's a big thing in the community where, you know, people put their hockey sticks out in front. Well, you could make a sign saying, you know, we support, you know, Humboldt strong, or you could have your, your city strong. Now, I want to throw out there, if you're doing something with a charitable slant, you may want to mention that, you know, $5 for every sale is going to your local animal shelter or you know, you could have an adopt, don't shop and $5 goes to the animal shelter. Uh, you're still making, you know, 10 bucks profit or eight bucks profit. I mean, that's, you know, your time is worth something. Or you may just want to do this as a charitable initiative too, right? And give all the money to the charity. Hey, wonderful. Good on you. If that's the case, you're definitely going to go to heaven there. Good for you. And we've got, you know, graduation stuff. That's one that my, actually my neighbor was doing the other day. He has got a sign printing business where he is taking a person's photograph upon request. So he's getting requests from mothers and dads and they'll put, you know, little Johnny's face on the thing and it says, happy graduation, Stephen and happy graduation, Jill and whatever it is. So there's definitely a demand for signs. Birthday ones, especially with, during the pandemic. Maybe you have a birthday sign and you put it in the window. Hey, Jenny's turning 14 today. Honk if you, you know, support, you know, Jenny, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, there's a ton of ideas. Step three. Step three is you go to the Staples store and you uh, order, you can order online. Now I'm saying Staples. If you live in a country that doesn't have Staples, not a problem. You can go to any Staples store or any copy shop, any, anywhere that makes high-end prints. So I'm just using Staples as an example, and I'm based in Canada. And for me, the cost for a hundred pound, and a hundred pound just means it's like heavy cardstock, it was $1.60 Canadian. So to get an 11 by 17 print done at Staples on a hundred pound paper was $1.60. Now that's full color, okay? So if you're doing a black and white print, which I did a few of those as well, it was like $1.20, $1.30. So we're talking like less than $2. You buy 10 of those and now you're out 20 bucks. Well, you sell one or two, you're gonna be ahead of the game, right? So here's step three. So how do you actually sell this stuff? And now look, I wanna be honest with you guys. I'm the world's worst salesman. So I actually teamed up with my wife on this one. So I wanted to throw this out there in advance because as I talk about listing on Facebook Marketplace, um, you know, I, I don't want you guys to zone out and go, oh God, I don't want to sell things. I'm out. Find somebody that does like to sell things. That's what I did. My wife has like 10 times the personality I do. And so I don't really like selling things. It freaks me out. I got all anxious about it. I can't be bothered. So we have a partnership. What I do is I create the signs and then I give them to her and then she sells them and then we just split the money. Works out great. No wonder we're married. So I listed on Facebook Marketplace and I list them, well, she does, for $15 
Okay, and it's just $15 Canadian. There's no tax. There's no fees. There's no delivery fee. Now, we'll go deliver it. If somebody orders something and they go, hey, I'm a disabled person that lives in the, you know, you know, way out in the, of town, it's like, well, maybe we can work out an arrangement to go, you know, deliver to you because we'd certainly like to, you know, help you out. Or if, you know, a little old lady that lives down the street and she doesn't have a car, we can drop it off. I actually dropped one off last night. This is kind of why I was thinking of this video today. I dropped one off last night and I thought, huh, I need to tell you guys about this because I made my 10th sale there uh, last night. So here's the idea. You're going to list it on Facebook Marketplace for 15 bucks. So here's an example. Okay, this is the listing example that I would put in Facebook Marketplace. Here's a thank you. So you have a picture of a thank you sign for frontline care healthcare workers or a thank you sign to medical staff or I got vaccinated, whatever the idea is. Thank you sign to show support for our frontline workers. This is perfect decor for the window or home. Also makes a great gift. Sign is heavy cardstock and designed by me. Just in case anyone's wondering if you know, you're know you ripping off Disney or something, right? $15. I'm taking EFT bank transfer, which is electronic funds, EFT bank transfer and bin pickup, meaning you're not delivering. And so look, if you don't have a vehicle and if you don't want to deliver, great. Uh, they can come to your house for $15 to get a unique sign. Hey, people are going to drive over. I've had it happen. So here's my real life example. So this happened to me last weekend and I'm actually just going to, you know, fast forward one weekend later till now and I can walk through exactly what happened. So last weekend, I got 20 signs printed. I ordered them online at Staples Copy and Print online. They cost me $1.60 each or $1.20 each. The total for 20 signs was about $42 when you got the tax. And I think I ordered them same day by accident. So there was like a $3 premium on top of it. I was a bit annoyed by that, but whatever. It came to $42 total, okay? So if you're a little bit smarter than me, you can probably get them printed for under 40 bucks if you don't pay for the same day. I was a bit of a dummy on that one and I clicked the wrong button. Anyway, 42 bucks total printing cost. And then I sold 10 of them in one week, so i.e. my wife sold 10 of them in one week, so she listed them on Facebook Marketplace, they were $15 each, and so that means we have $150 in sales, $150 cash. So we just paid off the $42 with that sales, and what that means is that, you know, $150 less the $42 it cost to print was a little over 100 bucks. So, you know, I'm not suggesting you're gonna become a millionaire overnight, but I will say, you know, I'm netting about over $12 profit per sign that I'm selling. And considering I'm not really doing anything at that point, once they're made, I hand them over to my wife and she literally puts them in a bin. She lists them on Marketplace. She deals with the people. So we're each making $6 per and all we're doing is putting an item in a bin and we're like continuing to watch Netflix while somebody shows up to the house and grabs it out of the bin. That's $6 each times two people. That's 12 bucks profit. So if you're doing this by yourself, hey, if you're single, good on you. You just doubled your money. Now you're making $12 per, right? So anyway, it's, you may want to sell them for 10 bucks each. I don't know, right? Something to think about. But I made a little over $100 in one week. Pretty proud of myself. Now there's a bonus tip as well. You might be thinking, hey, this is all good information. But no, there's more. Here's a bonus tip. So one of the things that you're going to find, and I've, I, I can say this from experience, not only with this venture, but with other ones that I've done online in the past, is that people may reach out and ask you for custom orders. So if you're making signs and you're saying, you know, thank you, frontline healthcare workers, someone may reach out to you and say, hey, can you make a sign that is about my local union, for example? Can you make a sign for my girlfriend's engagement party? Can you make a sign for my workplace because we need a something something thing that's happening? And so they're just going to reach out to you. Not, they don't want to buy your sign that you've listed, but they want you to commit to making a sign for them. So if that's the case, hey, they might order five signs, one sign, 10 signs. I've had this happen where I did this with shirts. I had just a person just reach out to me and say, hey, can you make me 30 shirts? And I was like, uh, yeah, I sure can. And so, you know, I have a printful account. I was like, boom, boom, boom. I made $100 profit for one afternoon's work. And I was only making $3 a shirt, American. But that came to, you know, $30, you know, 30 shirts times three bucks. That's 90 bucks. So you never know where the next order is going to come from. So even if you're squeaking out a little bit of a hobby income online, having your listings up for a while, people may reach out to you at Halloween, at Christmas time, somebody's birthday and go, hey, 
can you make blah, blah, blah for me? Now, we may think it's easy to create a Photoshop design or a Canva design, but there's lots of people out there that don't know how, and more importantly, they don't want to learn. They don't, they don't value it. They just go, oh, if I pay somebody $15, will this problem go away? Yes, please pay me $15. So I hope you guys found that helpful. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this video that, you know, you may want to take some notes or you may want to, you know, tweak it. You know, maybe you're looking at this going, eh, I think I could make this a better strategy. Great. Go nuts. Uh, I hope you guys are able to go forth and conquer as always. Um, a little bit of a different one here today. Instead of Redbubble and Public, this was one where I physically made product and then sold them and my markup was pretty decent. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to trying this out in, in, in the future as well with some other designs. Okay, hope you guys found that helpful. I really love hearing from you guys. I love the comments, the questions. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Feel free to leave me a comment and a question uh, and get involved. Thanks, guys. Have a great one.